Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Some of you in peace out to the rest of you. Hit the share button because the message is more important than the messenger. So here's the deal. Um, a lot of us don't understand fully the depth of this, but um, gentlemen, you gotta understand that a lot of you uh, are not going to be sought after by the majority of women in any case, wherever you live. But where you live in the West, a lot of you will be sought out by no one except the elderly, the overweight, or the single moms because they police each other's punanis. So I want you to understand something, gentlemen. A lot of you like to say, man, don't police my junk. Don't police my Johnson. But one of the reasons I point to men socially policing each other in this regard is because, frankly, that does make things easier for you. In the long run, yeah, it does. See, even though many of, of us, I'm not gonna say many of you, many of us are not going to be sought after by the majority of ladies. The fact still remains that there's a mechanism by which even a man that's not sought after by the majority is still going to appeal to someone. On an individual basis, it's going to happen sometimes. When these ladies police each other's punanis, what they're doing is they're shutting that mechanism down by social isolation. That's what's happening. So one of the reasons that the ladies, 80% of them will share the same 20% of men is not only because these are the, the best looking 20% or the, the best resourced 20% of men, it is also because these are the men that they can socially get away with laying down with. They can, there's no shame in that. That Instagram model that got burned, she burned herself trying to uh, DNA Jack Drake can do that because there's no shame. Imagine if she tried to do that to a guy like me. I'm less recognizably black than Drake is, if I had hair. She sits up and brags about something like that. Now, a regular run of the mill lady could try that on me and brag to her friends. Girl, I, I did see, but I sure did try it, girl. But uh, she's an Instagram model. I mean, we don't even know what she looks like, but if she was an Instagram model and she bragged about trying to do that to a guy like me, and I ain't rich, I ain't loaded, none of that. Everybody would shut her down and she knows it, but she didn't mind disclosing that she tried to do this to Drake. She was open about it, unabashedly. Yeah, I tried to do this to Drake and I'm gonna sue him because I hurt myself in the process. They're policing each other. So as to shut out the majority of men, not just from the majority of ladies, that's a natural mechanism, but to shut out the majority of men from anyone except the ones that have gotten washed out by the wall, by their weight, or by, uh, by wilada, meaning birth. That's the Arabic term for birth. That's why. They are, uh, uh, policing each other for that purpose because see when you're not the one of that 20% really it's probably 13 if you ask me when you're not one of those they believe that not only uh, should she the individuals looking at you don't only sit up and say well I shouldn't pick this guy they also say my friend who might have a crush on him should not pick him and I'm going to advise her against it and if she has a crush on him, but she never acts on it, then I'll keep that a secret so that he doesn't benefit. Why? So that you run from pillar to post trying to pair bond the whole time. They're just getting everything else out of you except a pair bond. You know, uh, you, you get everything out of um, literally you get everything out of yourself. And the whole time you don't get the pair bond, certainly not them draws, no sort of validation, none, nothing like that. The whole time. That's what it was about. A way to get you to do exactly what it is that many men are not given any other choice but to do. To pay for the play of the few men they wanted. That's why it is that they police each other. And gentlemen, you got to start doing this. We, one reason we got to do it is because it actually would make things a bit easier on most of us. See, the thing is, and this is one of the symptoms that will really tell you. <laughs> one man said to me that he admired one particular lady because she was girly. He didn't know what he was saying. He didn't mean any harm. I'm not knocking him. Shout out to him. You know who you are. But it made me think, wait a minute. She gets to be girly, but he's got to be manly. You see the difference? She gets to be neotenous, childish, not an adult, and she's not. Do I hate her? No. I like to see things work. But I, what I come to understand is that she feels comfortable demanding what she's not willing to offer in exchange.
You give me this and I don't give it in return. That's what she's saying. I know about this. And so what, what I have to understand is that if he's got to be manly, she needs to be womanly. She needs to be an adult. And this is not something that's ever been demanded because we men have set up here made it too easy while these ladies up here policing each other to make sure that all of them make it too difficult for you. Not me, because I'm gone. If I was still there, it would be the same thing. Since I'm gone, I don't have to deal with that no more. But you still do if you're living there in the West. They get to be girly. She can have her little collection of My Little Pony uh, if she wants to in her 30s even. She can have panties with cartoon characters and all sorts of uh, uh, not necessarily feminine, but but childishly feminine designs. She can have a cell phone with Hello Kitty uh, on the cover of it and stuff like that. And even if they stop at 30, the point is that we should not be pursuing the ones in their 20s that do dumb stuff like that. Not if you don't get to have a Star Trek DVD collection. I didn't even say comics, just DVD. Oh, that's too childish for them? Oh, you make money playing video games and that's too childish for them? Oh, you got a comic book collection that's actually worth a lot of money and that's too childish for them and they would throw it out if they found it? Oh, okay, then why do we sit up and tolerate them being not feminine, but childish? That's our mistake. And that's just one example. They got a doctrine of shutting you out, gentlemen. It's not even just about uh, access to them drawers, but that's the ultimate way it's about that. Because really what it's about is just you being validated and treated like an equal. They're shutting you out of that even. And that's why they, that's the reason why it is that they always got to go through these bad dudes first. That's one thing I had to explain to somebody I'm related to. When they come around and they mature, notice when they mature, they always have to say, yeah, I went through that phase too. You don't get to go through a stripper phase and then come out of it clean. Mm -mm. You go through a stripper phase, you're going to get robbed. You're going to get mugged, Cardi B, anybody? You go through a stripper phase, you're going to come out with some, some uh, keep a ninja baby kids. You're going to come out with something, some permanent consequence. If you go through that for three months, that's what you're gonna come out with. If you're lucky, you don't come out with any of these other things and no judgments against you, like, you know, fi financial courtroom judgments against you, but your junk ain't gonna never smell the same. If you're lucky, you will not come out with a consequence that's permanent. They get to go through uh, an HOE phase and come out and they want to sit up here and tell you, uh, well, actually, they'll t then, then they will say to each other, I had to go through that too. I noticed that. A relative of mine sent me a screenshot of a lady saying something about how she felt insecure in a relationship she was in because there was no drama. And other ladies were like, yeah, I know what you mean. I had to go through that too, but it's okay. It's just, you're just not detoxified yet. No, no, shut that fit. When does someone young and cute come along and say, you shouldn't have to go through that phase you went through. This is normal. Something's wrong with you. See, the women, that they, they, they do exist, but they know if they say that, they get shouted out. Shouted down. Because of the doctrine, gentlemen, to shut you out. And you trace it back and it goes, as I've said before, back to Aleister Cromwell. So this is literally a satanic doctrine, literally. And I wanna give a shout out to uh, Imam Lukman Ahmed of Toledo, Ohio, for touching upon this. Imam Lukman Ahmed, you may not know this man, but um, all this the feminism and the misandry and the S-word revolution that comes out of it traces back. It has support in the Church of Satan, but it traces back to Aleister Cromwell. And he was a known occultist. He didn't even, that's what he said he was. This is like it's a historical record that Hitler was into the occult. He was curious about it. This dude, Aleister Cromwell, was into that. So keep in mind that. I want y'all to understand that. You're literally fighting a satanic force just to survive into the next generation. Yeah. Pair bonding, to find a, a pair bond in which you will be respected and you're not gonna be ditched. Let's say maybe you'll be ditched and left, but it, in which you're not gonna be disrespected later on, that you gotta fight, you have to fight Satan to do it. Because a lot of them are listening and the ones who aren't are being shouted out. 
Yeah, it's that bad. You think I'm exaggerating? You think I'm using hyperbole and extrapolating it because I'm Muslim and I hate Satan? No, it, it, this, these are historical uh, references. And I know, I've seen it before. I know that demons do exist. How active they are is up to them, but I mean, it, it's, I don't, it, you can debate about that all day, but do they exist? Well, I saw proof they exist. When my wife and I were on our honeymoon, and we're spending some days in Dubai, actually. Her idea, not mine. Turned out Dubai wasn't as debaucherous as what people think it is. But when we were spending some time there, we were in the nice, it was a pretty nice hotel room we were in. We were sitting up, we were chatting, talking, and she said something about, um, uh, about the tricks that demons will pull on people. Really what she was saying is there are certain verses that we recite. And even if you ain't Muslim, you could recite these and you will probably see that certain bad influences or bad luck patterns in your life would, would start to vanish. You probably see that. But just by her mentioning these things, less than a minute later, something in the kitchen that was perfectly, you know, a can of seasoning on a countertop with no fan blowing on it, just flew over onto its side like somebody had thumped it over. A physical object just moved by itself. There was no string, there was no wind, there was nobody else in the room that we could see, of course. And that's the only time I've had something, you know, that uh, insane happen. Something that open and obvious. But I knew from before that they were there. So what I'm saying is that when I tell you I'm not exaggerating, I know you are literally fighting a satanic force. And Lukman Ahmed is taking this on. Shout out to you. The thing is, sir, when, uh, when you take this on, I can tell you straight, they're going to come for you. You have to stay prayed up. You have to recite every remembrance, every supplication, and every verse you know that, go, that counteracts them. Because they're going to come, they probably already are. They're going to come for you and they're going to start with your wives and your kids. So even the feminists themselves that are walking around, the misandrists, not just the ones that believe in women's rights and equality, that's fine, but the misandrists, even they walking around are not going to be involved in certain things that are gonna go wrong in your life. There will be things that will happen that work to their benefit and they didn't even know what happened. They're gonna have help they don't even know about. That's what I wanted you to understand. Unless of course you appeal to our maker for protection and he grants it and as we know, he does, in fact, answer sincere supplications, especially for this. So go on ahead and take them on. Just make sure you do this beforehand. Thank you all for listening. Black heart, black mind, black out. Now you know why I say, Assalamu alaikum and black heterosexual non-select male power because they don't like it, and black patriarchy till extinction or judgment day. <laughs>